Hey guys, so today I'm going to scrapbook this photo strip that Stu and I had taken when we went to the movies to see Top Gun when it was re-released in 3D. And I put one of these strips, you got two of them when you bought them, and I put one of them in Project Life Binder, and then I'm going to scrapbook the other one. I am starting with this Amy Tangerine background paper, it's from the Yes Please collection, it's called Hopeful, and that's that, that gray with the the pattern on it in the back and then I'm using this transparency and I don't want to use the whole thing but I want to border the layout with it and that's a transparency from who made that uh, it's Webster's pages pages Allison craft sweet notes love this overlay and it just has little hearts on it, and it says love this over and over again so I'm going to use that as my as my border and then you're going to see that chevron paper there and that chevron paper I'm going to used to cover up the hole in the center of this uh, in the, of this piece of paper here so that that's where I'm going to build the majority of my layout pieces. So I'm just measuring the amount of, I just, I'm just measuring what size I need that chevron to be. And you're going to see me cut out both, I don't want the center of that chevron to be skewed so much, so I don't want to cut like all of the amount off of one side. So I'm going to look at it a little bit and figure out how much I need to cut off on both sides so that center chevron stays down the center of the page. So that's what I'm going to do there, and then I'm just going to cut the bottom off. And in the end, I, you know, because of, of who I am, that center part had to be had to had to be that way. But um, I cover a lot of that up. So I'm going to use a lot of the Ellie Studio You and Me collection to um, add layers to this page. And I started this page out from a two-piece challenge, use your favorite color, and I thought that I would make the whole layout pink, but then I decided mm, I don't want to do that. So I did that challenge, that pink challenge, a different um, on a different layout, because this layout I wanted to add some other colors in, so I, uh, I, for, I foregone, forewent, I forgot about the challenge. How's that? We'll just say I forgot about the challenge. And... Um, went with uh, what I wanted here. So I'm just using a little bit of gray. Um, that's also from Amy Tangerine, I believe. And I'm just putting it behind my photos to make some room, to make some layering um, room there. And then, like I said, I'm going to go through and I'm going to cut out a lot of, I'm going to cut out two of these three by four cards. One of them says sweet, happy moments. And the other one is my love, sweetheart, one of a kind, best friend. Oh no, I think that one's an Ellie Studio. I think the only cut apart card I use. Oh, I'm going to layer the two cut apart cards. That's what I'm going to do. And I didn't even make this layout that long ago. That's just how bad my memory is. I made this layout on July 31st. I'm narrating this video on August the 9th. That's pretty good for me. Uh, I make many more layouts than I have time to upload. So they sit in the queue until I decide either that I'm not going to upload them or I get around to narrating them. So that's what happens. So again, I'm just using some of these Ellie Studio tags, layering this around. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to stick it down. I wanted that arrow point on that Happy Sweet Moments uh, three by four card to point to the center of those photos. I thought that it would look weird otherwise. That LA Studio tag says, You make me so happy. And that is an LA Studio, I think they call them tiny tags, the round ones. And uh, it just says, I love you. So now I'm going to pull up this sweet, happy moments a little bit. And I'm going to layer this uh, heart arrow under this heart arrow card underneath that sweet happy moments and I'm actually going to cover that arrow up because I was still going with the thought that I was only going to use uh, the pink because most of that gray is covered up but uh, I don't know it doesn't work like that I actually end up it, it, uh, actually that arrow is teal that's what it was the arrow is teal and I didn't want to bring a second color into this it's black and pink and white and then it's got those a little bit of craft where that um, Ellie Studio tag is so I didn't want to bring in another color and that arrow has aqua um, it's the pink heart with the aqua arrow, so I, I'm going to cover that part up in a bit. So just layering more here, cutting apart these LA Studio cut-apart sheets. This um, collection from LA Studio really went well with this this paper, because obviously You and Me was a, I believe it was a Valentine's Day collection, and um, I'm talking about, you know, how how he's my best friend, and we have a good time, and we act goofy together, and we laugh at ourselves and, you know, all of that kind of good mushy stuff.
had I been thinking about it, I wouldn't have covered up the craft that's on that one, two, three uh, card there because I use craft down there where it says you make me happy, and I didn't really. I didn't realize that as I was putting that one, two, three card down. I thought that, um, you know, I wanted to cover all the craft up. And then at the end, I'm like, oh, I got that craft down there. It's the only place it is. So um, in retrospect, I probably wouldn't have covered that up, but that's the way it goes. I cut a doily up a little bit here, and I'm going to add that just for some texture on this layout. Everything is pretty flat except for the things that I put up on a dimensional adhesive. So I just wanted to give the page a little bit of texture. These uh, doilies are from Studio Calico. I order them um, extra as to as to my set. Most of the uh, most of the except for all the Ellie Studio tags and things and those doilies. Most of these papers and embellishments and things came from the July 2013 Scraptastic kit out on the town. So. And that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use that little flag there that says, I love days like this, I heart days like this, to cover up that aqua arrow. On my playback, it looks a little, hopefully on your playback, it does look aqua. On mine, it looks black. So I, at first, I wasn't sure why I was covering it up. And then I remembered that it was aqua. So I'm just looking for some washi tape. And I'm going to use my mind's eye washi tape here. And just add it in a couple of places. Again, building on texture and giving, uh, you know, a different feel to the layout with the different, uh, you know, we have paper, we have a doily, we have some washi tape, just trying to give some texture and interest to the page. And that's where I realize I'm like, oh, I need craft, because craft is only in that one spot on the page, and that's when I decided, oh, you need you need some craft. So I'm going to use this little tag up here in the upper left hand corner that says we are oh so sweet together. And then I'm just going to pull a little remember the details uh, cut apart that has a little bit of craft on it to put in the upper right hand corner so that we make the visual triangle with the craft. There we go. And at this point I'm thinking well the page is almost done but I have the um, one, two, three hearts that uh, that thing looks a little plain to me. So I'm going to pull out some Lawn Fawn stamps. They are Claire's ABCs, and I'm going to put you, me, and us. I'm going to stamp that out in uh, Memento ink, and that's Tuxedo Black. So I'm going to stamp out you. The one good thing about Lawn Fawn, if you haven't used Lawn Fawn alphabet stamps, I would highly recommend them. They cut them all square so that they... So they sit nice together next to each other so that you get at, you get um, the spacing on each of the letters is correct. So I really, really, if you have not um, tried out Lawn Fawn, their alphabet stamps, I would highly recommend them. I know a lot of people say that their their other types of stamps are a little bit too cutesy, like, um, you know, their, their image stamps, but their alphabet stamps are really, really nice. And now I've run off somewhere, and I don't know where I've been. I'm gone. Okay, that's really... I bet you Stu got home from work, or he woke up, or something. Yeah, I really don't know where I went there. Oh, well. So I'm just figuring out here where I'm going to put the date. The date was February 12th, 2013, so it works out well that it was like a Valentine's Day thing. We don't do, we don't celebrate Valentine's Day, but he had to take me to see... Top Gun is like one of my all-time favorite movies. I can't believe I'm admitting that. But, um... I mean, now I can't stand Tom Cruise. Like, anything he does, I don't want to see. That's a recollection stamp, phrase roller stamp. It says, I love you lots. I can't stand anything that Tom Cruise, you know, Tom Cruise is just annoying to me now. But, oh my. That's a, I think that is Amy Tangerine or Studio Calico roller date stamp. It says, love, love, love. And I just put that on that little circular embellishment in the lower left-hand corner. And now I'm going to write out my journaling. And I'm using a black pen to pull some more black into the layout because, you know, it's pink craft, white and black, as I guess the color scheme here. And then I'm going to decide that the page needs a couple of uh, enamel dots. So I'm going to put those on, but I don't show you that. And I went a little crazy with the enamel dots, as you can see, but it does frame out the page with all that black. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I um, hope you're having a good day and I will talk to you next time. Bye.